Now, let's move on to cellular changes. Polymorphonuclear leukocytes, or PMNs, they are stored in bone marrow, circulate in the blood, and rapidly accumulate at sites of injury or infection, predominate in acute inflammation. The sequence of events in the journey of leukocytes from the vessel lumen to interstitial tissue is called extravasation. Extravasation has the following steps. First, margination. Leukocytes, especially neutrophils, get deposited along the vascular endothelium. This is called margination. The second step is called rolling. Rolling is when rows of leukocytes move along the endothelium. There are selectins that promote cell-to-cell -cell interaction. The selectins involved in rolling are as follows. L-selectin is a homing molecule found on many types of leukocytes. It binds lymphocytes to high endothelial venules, or HEVs, in lymphoid tissues, thus regulating trafficking. E-selectin is not normally expressed on endothelial cell surfaces, but is induced by inflammatory mediators, such as cytokines or bacterial lipopolysaccharides. E-selectin mediates the adhesion of neutrophils, monocytes, and certain lymphocytes by binding to Lewis X or Lewis A. P-selectin is preformed and stored in viable pallata bodies of endothelial cells and alpha granules of platelets. Upon the stimulation with histamine, thrombin, or specific inflammatory cytokines, P-selectin moves rapidly to the cell surface where it binds with CLL Lewis X on leukocyte surfaces. Preformed P-selectin can be delivered quickly to the cell surface, allowing rapid adhesive interaction between endothelial cells and leukocytes. TNF and IL act on endothelial cells. P and L-selectin are involved in rolling, while E-selectin plays a key role in both rolling and adhesion. Now let's talk about adhesion. Firm adhesion of leukocytes to endothelium is mediated by a family of leukocyte surface proteins called integrins. Integrins are transmembrane two-chain glycoproteins that mediate the adhesion of leukocytes to endothelium and of various cells to the extracellular matrix. In a low affinity form, they are normally expressed on leukocyte plasma membranes and do not adhere to their specific ligands until the leukocytes are activated by the chemokines. Chemokines are chemoattractant cytokines that bind to endothelial cell proteoglycans and are displayed at high concentrations on the endothelial surface. When the rolling leukocytes encounter the displayed chemokines, cells are activated and their integrins undergo conformational changes and cluster together, thus converting to a high affinity form. At the same time, other cytokines, notably TNF and IL-1, activate endothelial cells to increase their expression of ligands for integrins. VCAM, short for Vascular Cell Adhesion Molecule 1, on endothelium, binds with the beta-1 integrins VLA-4 on leukocytes. ICAM-1, short for Intracellular Adhesion Molecule 1, binds with the beta-1 integrins LFA1 and MAC1 on leukocytes and is responsible for adhesion. Now, let's move on to transmigration, or diapodesis. This is characterized by the transmigration of leukocytes across the endothelium. The most common molecule for adhesion is the platelet endothelial cell adhesion molecule, also known as PECAM or CD31. This is present on both endothelium and leukocytes. Diapodesis occurs in post-capillary venules, except in the lungs, where it also occurs in the capillaries. After traversing the endothelium, leukocytes pierce the basement membrane, probably by secreting collagenases, 
and they entered the extravascular tissue. Typically, the vessel wall is not injured during leukocyte transmigration. Next, we have to address adhesion deficiencies in leukocytes. Leukocyte adhesion disorder, or LAD1, occurs in beta-1 integrins and the integrins LFA1 and MAC1. This is characterized by recurrent bacterial infections and delayed separation of the umbilical cord stump. LAD2 occurs in the selectin, or CLO Lewis X, and is caused by a defect in the fucosyl transferase. Finally, LAD3 is due to mutation of the firm T3 gene due to impaired integrin activation. The last cellular change is chemotaxis. After exiting circulation, leukocytes move in the tissues toward the site of injury in response to certain chemicals by a process called chemotaxis. This process involves exogenous bacterial products, particularly peptides with N-formylmethionine termini, cytokines, especially those of the chemokine family, endogenous products, such as C5A and arachidonic acid metabolites, LTB4, IL-1, TNF, and IL-8. Please note that the locomotion of chemotaxis requires actin polymerization. In most forms of acute inflammation, neutrophils predominate in the inflammatory infiltrate during the first 6 to 24 hours and are gradually replaced by monocyte-derived macrophages over 24 to 48 hours. After entering the tissues, neutrophils are short-lived. They undergo apoptosis and disappear within 24 to 48 hours. In viral infections, lymphocytes may be the first cells to arrive. In allergic reactions, eosinophils may be a prominent cell type. We'll end this section by talking about the recognition of microbes and dead tissue. Toll-like receptors, or TLRs, are found on the cell surface and endosomal vesicles of leukocytes, and they recognize the bacterial components. G-protein-coupled receptors recognize n formylmethionine residues. Finally, there are receptors for opsonins. Immunoglobin G antibodies are recognized by a high-affinity receptor called FCYRI.